Let me see what the back of the head look like before I show y'all. Mm, not so much though, not so much in the parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianne. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I realized when I was looking at my YouTube analytics that half of y'all are not subscribed. Most of y'all come from the YouTube suggestions, so if you've been enjoying my content or if you like the vibe that you're seeing so far and you like this hairstyle, please, please, please subscribe. It will really help me out. I'm really looking forward to building a family, a community on my channel where we really like engage in the comments and things like that. So yeah, make sure y'all subscribe and keep on watching if you want to see exactly how I achieved this new style that I tried out called the Invisible Locks. I think they are super cute. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. This is the hair that I will be using in today's video. Go ahead and take a screenshot. I can't tell you guys too much about the hair right now because this is my first time ever using it. I will tell you guys at the end how I feel about the hair. I went ahead and separated each strand because they come in pretty big like strands i separated each one into threes so you definitely get a lot of bang for your buck and this is how the hair looks all laid out on my rack that i got from amazon y'all know i love shine and jam it helps me smooth my roots and blend my hair with the extensions and it allows me to have crisp parts i'm going back to the style factor edge booster to lay my hair today I've never tried this scent, but it says that it's maximum hold. I love spraying my braids with this man and tail shine on. I should have got some more. I didn't realize I'm basically out. Just use whatever oil is your favorite. This is mine. I make it. It's a, the perfect blend of a lot of different oils that are really good for your hair. So those are all of the products that I will be using. Of course, in terms of tools, you're definitely going to need a crochet needle. For this style, it's not going to end up looking like you crocheted your hair though, so don't worry. You want an edge brush. You're going to need a detangling brush. Um, and you're going to need a rat tail comb. I like the ones with the middle ends. Love her. And then of course you're going to need some clips or whatnot to section your hair off and all that good stuff. So that is everything. So I went ahead and did one whole side of my head um and i'm really feeling them okay so first off it was easiest for me to section my hair in four sections one two and then three four in the back so starting off with this side and i'm also breaking out right here guys so please just disregard um but i did four sections so i'm gonna go ahead and um section out my first one and i'm basically following exactly what i did on this side so in fact the same thing over here all right, so once you have your section, this is going to be one twist, but you're going to have to split this into two sections as well. Boom. So once you split them, you want to get some shine and jam and coat the roots of your hair. And then crazy as it sounds, you're going to clip one away and then you're going to section your one section into two. Be prepared to do a lot of like just be prepared to do a long process when it comes to this style because it's a lot of small pieces intertwined basically and i'm gonna go ahead and get me even more gel and i'm gonna split it into three and put a tiny little braid in my hair so luckily for the style you do not have to braid all the way down like that would literally be my worst nightmare you just need to braid down a little bit something like that i don't even know if you can see just so it doesn't unravel and then you're going to go ahead and take your piece of hair and your crochet needle and you're going to crochet that through and if you're new to crocheting all you do is open the latch put it through your head attach the hair close the latch that's the most important part and then pull it right through and you're good to go Go ahead and find the other piece of hair that belongs to that section and pull it over. And then just add more shine and jam so everything is nicely secured. And then you're going to do the same thing to the other section. If you have tiny hairs in the front like me, this is going to be the, the hardest part for you. But it's okay, just take your time. 
And I realized that the back of your head, no one's gonna see that part. So I didn't do this part in the back of my head. Like I didn't split the hair and then braid it. I just braided the whole section because as long as the front and like the middle looks good, you should have nothing to worry about. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little braid in. I'm gonna get my other piece of hair and crochet it through. Remind you, this piece of hair is one of three from the actual section that they give you in the package because that section was so big. I would have had like jumbo twists and that's not what we're going for. Some people crochet their hair halfway through and then pull it, just pull it all the way through. Makes it 10 times easier. And like I said earlier, retrieve your other part of the portion and get you some shining jam. So now it's time to actually turn this into something that looks like locks and then twist them together. It's basically what this whole invisible locks style is supposed to portray. It's supposed to look like you have real locks that have been twisted together in a, you know, two strand twist style and then wrapped at the bottom to create a bob effect. So basically what you want to do is twist your hair at the top really, really well and really tightly in one direction and then in order to twist them together you're going to twist them in another direction so let me just be quiet and show you <laughs> twisting i'm adding shine and jam because i don't want that little braid to show some of my braids are showing so i'm gonna have to redo them but basically as you can see i'm twisting away from my face while still holding this section i'm gonna get my shine and jam as you can see i use a lot of shine and jam um Sometimes in order to help you cover your plait, you have to comb your hair through. So I just did that and now like I said, I'm twisting again away from my face. So I twist, 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 add more jam. Instead of twisting away from my face, I'm going to twist towards my face. And at, I like to leave a little bit of space in between them because, trust me, they're going to get tighter as you twist. And then I twist regularly. I'm kind of still twisting the twist as I twist, like I'm doing that fuck of the rest motion. But for the most part, you can just twist no as normal because um, you want them to kind of get chunkier as you go down. Like, I can see where my hair is sticking out at. I just put a little bit on my hair. And then you keep twisting. Y'all see how, like, the root got really tight, even though I didn't, like, twist it tight at first? Once you come to the bottom of the twist, you see how long it is? Um, I'm going to go ahead and find my other piece to see where I had that one end. Alright, so once you have your twist... You're going to flip the hair up at the length that you want it to kind of sit at. And then you're going to fold it once, fold it again, take this piece and wrap it around. This hair, FYI, is not long enough to give me the, the look that I really wanted at the ends. I'm going to put a picture of how my ends are supposed to look. Um... So, if you want your hair to look like that, I would suggest getting longer inches. But girl, this is all my beauty supply I had to offer, so we had to make work with what we had. So, once you're finished twisting it, you're just going to put it through the bottom loop. I'll show you guys again. And then you're going to pull this part down to lock it in place. And there goes your little twist. And it looks like I have two little locks twisted together. I just think it's so cute. I don't know. This is the perfect style. If you ever thought of having locks and you didn't know how you was going to look, this is this is the look. This is what it is. Same thing as last time. Get your section and you're going to split it into two. And you're going to coat your roots with shine and jam. And then you're going to split this section into two as well. But the first time we split it, we split it uh, vertically. And now we're going to do it horizontally. Put that section away. And you're going to put a tiny braid in your hair. And like I said, don't go too far down. We just need a little bit to where we're on unravel. And then you're going to get your third of the section. I like to... 
put my fingers like this. Make sure you um, open the latch of your crochet needle. Put it through your braid. Take your middle and index finger and attach the hair. Close the latch. Pull it all the way through. That piece was nappy, <laughs> so it kind of got stuck. And then you're gonna pull that other part of the section down. Get some shine and jam. And you can just put that away as you do the same exact thing to this side. Twisting away from my face with the first section. Add more jam. Jam is really your best friend whenever you do protective styles. I'm going to pull down the other part, same thing to this side. It's very like repetitive, okay? I mean, most styles are. Once you have them both going away from your face, now you're going to twist them together going towards your face. And remember to leave space at the top because it's going to get tighter as you go. And then just twist as normal. Once you get to where your hair ends, you see how my hair is sticking out right now? Add you some more shine and jam. Once you come to the end of your twist, you're just going to fold it where you want the hair to end and you're gonna not necessarily fold it again but now you have some extra hair you're gonna take this i've been wrapping away from my face just in case if you wanted if you were wondering and you're just gonna wrap it back downwards and once you have the end of it right here you're gonna stick this through this little loop that you have right here Stick it through and then go back to the top where you started wrapping down and you're going to pull at it to secure the end and it will not unravel. If you twist tightly at the top of your hair and if you pull firmly and really tuck it and secure it at the end, none of your twists should unravel. I'm going to continue doing that all over my head and I'm going to play some music for y'all to listen to. If this tutorial has been easy for you to follow, Please give me a like because it takes a lot of time, energy, effort, and coin, okay, moolah to put into these videos. So I would really appreciate it if you show some love, okay? Let's continue with the tutorial.
I ended up finishing my hair way quicker than I thought and I absolutely love it okay I have to be honest with you guys I ended up realizing when I did this side of my head that the smaller the braid the better the outcome so I have some chunky braids over here like when I actually braided my real hair that I'm going to redo. But baby, I got somewhere to go today. So that's not going to happen today. So we're just going to put these over to the side, honey. Because this is my favorite side. Um, But right here is my favorite twist for some reason. And I want that to show. I don't know. I'm just real particular. Y'all know me. If you've been watching me for a while, you know Tara is really particular with her hair. So I don't know. I want to wear my hair like this today. I think it's so cute. The the twists are also like really lightweight and soft. Like I can squish this. You know, like I'm not going to have no problems going to sleep whatsoever. The top of my hair is tight because I want these to last long. But I really like them. I think they are such a cute length. Um, if you don't like the length of it, you can pull it a little bit to adjust the length and make sure it's how you want it it's easy to do and it's probably gonna last me a long time make sure you go to sleep with your satin silk scarf and bonnet okay and make sure you know you just keep your hair well moisturized and stuff like that so i'm gonna go ahead and use the edge booster to lay my edges so this look can come together she's brand new so i had to take the thing off this don't smell as good as the yellow one but it's all right i ain't too worried about that i didn't leave too many edges out because um i really want this style to last long so i just left what naturally is left out i didn't like go and section any out and I'm just gonna brush them into place so this style took me no time to do guys like I swear I was I don't know if it was just because I was moving and I was determined but I woke up around 7 today and I probably got started around 7 45 and right now it's 12 16 um so I was moving honey this is probably one of the easiest styles I've done recently and one of the quickest styles as well and it's also one of the cheapest styles so basically i used i ended up using one pack of hair and let's talk about the hair in general because i definitely want to give you guys um a review like i said i would earlier but i used one whole pack of hair and then i used oops then i used one of the sections from the three piece pack you know I only used not even all of it because I still have all this hair left over so I would say get two packs of hair I ended up getting four so hopefully they like you know uh, do, they do exchanges or something or returns at my beauty supply because I doubt I'm gonna like do this style again I just wanted to try it out because I thought it was cute I'll show you moisturize your scalp so yeah review in terms of the hair I love it um it's not rough feeling like a lot of twist hair is like i hate cuban twist hair for example it's real tough to me it hurts my fingers when i'm doing my when i do my hair with cuban twist hair i don't like it um i wanted to try it with marley twist hair and i think if i did the marley twist hair they would have looked like real locks even more and that was the vibe i was going for but like i said this was the best option that my beauty supply had because if you don't know I shop at a black owned beauty supply and um, it's a small store so of course they're not going to have everything that I want every single time but that's fine because I'd rather keep the um, money in the community versus going to somebody else so it is what it is but yeah 10 out of 10 recommended hair but it just don't look like locks like it look like chunky twist until you look at the top it looks like locks at the top but the bottoms look like chunky twists i wanted them to look like locks all over but it's totally fine let me stand up and give you guys a 360. i don't know what the back of my head look like to be honest because <laughs> i ain't take my time doing the parts like i said i have somewhere to go and i have another video to film after this so we're gonna make do with what we got 
Let me see what the back of the head looks like before I show y'all. Okay, the back don't look too crazy, but my parts aren't the cutest. Like, mm, not so much though, not so much in the parts, because I didn't do my hair in front and behind a mirror like I normally do. I was like really just thugging off the front of the mirror, so don't do me too bad in the comments. But this is the final look, you guys. I'm so sleepy. Um, but I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative and I hope you found it easy to follow. If you did, please be sure to give me a like. Okay. Also comment down below if you would try to style. So yeah, like the video. Make sure y'all subscribe. Join the fam and I'll see you in the next one. Bye mamas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.